I think we all have so much social media presence that is um, visible to other people. And so I think that really prevents me from sharing a lot of the really important moments of my life because I don't really want everybody to see those things. My family is actually from Poland. My parents came over to America in the 70s. Um, my mom's side of the family is Jewish and um, we're Holocaust survivors. I am married and we've been married for about 10 years. And uh, in that 10, oh my gosh, it's 11 years. Oh, geez. <laughs> in that 11 year time frame, uh, we have two kids, a five and a half year old and three year old. Born, raised Chicagoan, love being a Chicagoan, will probably never leave. When I think about family legacy, I think about how much rich history we have in our family and how important it is to share that with our kids. Grandma had so many cool stories to share with us about how she was a model in the Sears catalog and we had a chance to see that. I thought that was so cool. Family legacy is so, so important and it's so important to have some sort of opportunity or medium to share that with the people in your family. One of the most important things that stands out to me for Circle It is the ability to have a private platform to share my family stories and my family legacy. I, I think that right now we sometimes are a little overexposed and I don't always want to share pictures of my kids on a public platform. You know, one of my kids' projects this year was to put together a family tree and it was just so cool to have to go back and dig into our legacy a little bit to get that information. And then I think the other thing that really stands out to me as well is having the ability to send cards, send flowers, send gifts, and pre-schedule a lot of that stuff. You can't always remember everything. Um, and my mom always jokes about how she may not be here when my kids are you know, old enough to get married. So she wants to make sure that she has the ability to record a message, send them something, give that special piece of jewelry, give that something blue to my daughter when she gets married. Again, I think having you know, a private platform where we can do that is, is really what makes this outstanding to me. My son's three, he's a little guy, um, and I want to make sure that one day he can remember and he can go back and have those experiences, not just in his memory as a child, but something that's a little more curated for him so that, you know, dad can leave that special message, or I guess it would be grandpa that can leave that special message for my son or my daughter, or grandma can leave that special message so that on her wedding day, 20 years from now, or whatever the case may be, there's something special from grandma and grandpa, and I think that's just so important. My favorite feature right now specifically is the newborn feature. My kids are underage and obviously can't have accounts, so I can make an account on their behalf. And so I can go and actually create messages for my son and for my daughter for the next 30 years and have them in a nice safe place. And my parents can actually do the same thing for them as well. And so when my kids come of age and they do have the ability to open up that account that I've pre-curated for them, they can make sure they go back and they have all the information about our family and they receive those cards and those notes from their grandparents um, as well as myself. If I were you, I'd get in there today, get your account going, schedule your dates, um, and prepare to have your, your mind blown. Thank <laughs> you.